Welcome to NetSuite's Sweet Success demonstration of work orders and assemblies for health and beauty companies. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to track raw materials while planning and assembling inventory items into finished goods. For this demo, I'm going to take on the role of the supply chain manager. My dashboard lets me see real-time information about my inventory movement and planned assemblies. NetSuite's Assemblies to Order Reminder is a proactive mechanism that alerts me if an assembly item has gone below a build point on the item setup, ensuring that I stay on top of replenishing my inventory. This Assemblies to Order screen displays all assembly items that need to be routed to production. Before we dive into the manufacturing process, let's quickly review the item record of an assembly item. This is the item record for moisturizing lotion. It's where I set up everything related to my item, ranging from item attributes, merchandise hierarchy, procurement strategy, accounting implications, and bill of materials. At the top, primary information stores product information UPC, images, and more. NetSuite will come with pre-configured fields, but is flexible in allowing for configurable attributes. On the Inventory tab, I can set the unit of measure, buying units, storing units, and selling units. I can also set up a planning strategy. In this case, I'm showing a reorder point plan. I have the option to manually input my build point, preferred stock level, but NetSuite also collects this data and can automate the work order suggestion based on historical information. NetSuite tracks my inventory figures at multiple locations. I can enter a 3PL or contract manufacturer as virtual locations, allowing NetSuite's unified platform to track inventory movement and transactions across all locations. Another key element of the Work Orders and Assemblies module is the Component Subtab, which allows me to choose any number of child items or components to the parent item. In this example, my moisturizing lotion. Each component requires a bill of material quantity that designates how much of each component is required to assemble a finished good. Within this assembly build, I can choose to add a component yield to each item on my bill of material. If there is scrap or some other factor I need to account for, I can input the component yield here. NetSuite auto-calculates the quantity adjusted based on the component yield. Lastly, we can set multiple pricing strategies based on the customer and order channels. To see how the supply chain manager plans and releases work orders for the assembly item, let's go back to the Mass Create Work Orders page. As we saw on the item setup, NetSuite queues up all my assembly items based on the build point and preferred stock level that I created earlier. These are the assembly items that need work orders generated for them. I can submit this in mass, which will create the work orders that are then sent to the shop floor for production. We see our assembly item, Assembly 1 Simple, is low in stock. Through this page, we can prompt the creation of a work order. Now my work orders have been created in a planned state and I'll continue to firm up the production schedule as I prepare for my busy season. When I set the production start date, this work order is added to the production queue. Once the work order transitions to a release status, the component inventory will be committed to the work order. Let's also take a look at the work orders that need to be released immediately. When my work orders are buildable, I'll be prompted via reminders to start production. 
This is the work order that needs to be built. I can print the bill of materials, which becomes my picking ticket. It includes everything I need to complete the assembly build. Once I've picked my components, I can create the build. NetSuite will suggest the consumption amount at the point of the assembly build. For this example, let's say a couple of items broke in the process. I can alter the actual quantities used in the build, ensuring that NetSuite continues tracking all inventory consumed. Now that I've completed the build and updated the quantity consumed, I can hit save. At this point, I can look at the impact of this work order on the general ledger. All the component inventory is automatically reflected. We've added the quantity of the assembly item into inventory, and the total of those is our projected value. 